guess Lance, to start off, just how would you evaluate the performance you guys had tonight? Um, yeah, I thought it was a good performance. I think there's, you know, for me, I was, you know, unfortunately, there's part of that second half that gets a little momentum gets away from me and we turned it over. But uh, I think when I watch it tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll appreciate the effort and getting the turnovers and do that. Um, first half was mine as good a football as we've played since we've been here. I, honestly, I think we played penalty free. We were executing. I mean, you know, you know, we're you know, it used to be like 40 seconds left. We got a lead. They're kicking off. Let's run the run the ball or take a knee. Let's go in. We're getting it the second half, and you know, and and said so let's run one and see what happens. And if we get a first down, let's let, let's get aggressive. And then you, you get a chance. Just some things there were really impressive. I thought Jalen. Uh, didn't show any rust, and uh, you know, so it was uh, it was a good day. Something you guys talked a lot about in the off season, even leading into this game, was just increased physicality, mm -hmm. wanting to improve that. How do you feel like you did yeah, that? Yeah, you know, for, at first glimpse, I, I think we're an extremely physical football team tonight. Now, and you know, again, the film will tell us for sure, but I I thought so. I I thought I haven't looked. You know, here I've been carrying this around, and I haven't even looked like, you know, 542 yards and. They had what three something. So, again, I I, I thought we we played. Um, you know, I think we had a couple tough targeting calls. You know, but we're playing aggressive and 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 we're playing in a in a fashion that we're going to need. Um, you know, throughout this year. And for you guys, just as a program, um, how big of a win does this feel like? Well, it, it's a big win, um, but it's a non-conference win. We got to make sure of that. But I I think it's a, from where this program has been. For over a decade, I, I, I think wins like this, and, and this was the opportunity when I, Travis and I talked about the opportunity to move this game. That was something like, hey, these our guys deserve an opportunity to go play when there's not a lot of. There, I think there's probably a lot of eyeballs on this football team tonight, and I'm very proud of the way they played. And but um, you know, I I don't want to make it anything more than than that because we got a lot of football to play yet and a lot of work to do. Lance. Mm -hmm. um, you alluded to Jalen not showing any rust. I, I wonder that the the pass on that last drive of the half, if 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 you think many people can do that, and and how how that play struck you, as yeah. well as the one out of the end zone when he <laughs> ran out. Yeah. What does that do for I a mean, team? I mean, yeah, he avoided guy that's going to make a lot of money someday in the NFL too. And uh, um, yeah, I, I think his. You know, early. I think there's a couple times he kind of got off balance, and you know, I probably a little bit. If you, I don't know. I'm sure he's coming in here soon. He's going to tell you. I, I would imagine he's going to tell you he's pretty tired, because <laughs> I think conditioning was. You know, as again, that's as as much as he's done in a very long time. Um, but yeah, those throws were amazing. I think he, you know, he played with extreme confidence. Um, even some of the incompletions in the first half weren't weren't off the mark very much. You know, and I think he had a drop. I think one. I think I think Quentin kind of had one in the numbers. I don't know if it got just somebody tipped it or whatever, but he was uh, he was on, you know, and and that's that's impressive, and you can see why uh, why it was you know what we what everybody thinks of him as well as us, um, you know, and and the same time there's Jason, you know, that's prepared extremely well, and you know, it was one thing I was I told Jason after the game I was hoping we could have punched another touchdown or so in because. Um, it had been easier to get him in in the fourth and, and do those things. Lance, do you think you'll ask for either of those targeting calls to get reviewed at all? Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, once they review them, I don't know the procedures. as a Big Ten crew. I don't know how we go through it with our people. So um, there's a few of those I'd like to, to kind of see where it goes. I, I don't know. I don't even know what my at this moment what my options are because does it go to somewhere else or does it go within the conference I, I don't know so um, yeah because you know the the one on Austin I don't know you know if his head's down a little bit but it's still in the mid so I have I've never seen a targeting call like that I can count on one hand in 17 years or so ever since this rule went in on one hand how many players on teams that I've coached have had a targeting call and and to get two in one game, um, you know, and Kobe's I, from at least what we could see there didn't seem like he launched, used his shoulder, the player was putting his head down. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, but um, so. Let me see. 
on Jalen again. What, um, what what were your expectations for him tonight? First game and all. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's. I don't know how to answer that one. To be honest, like our expectations statistically, I, I expect him to. I could tell today in the hotel we're doing some walkthrough stuff that he felt really good. He was really anxious to play. He felt really in command of calls and 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 just as we go through things, I felt uh, I felt he was he was ready. I didn't see any apprehension that he was worried about anything, and that was that was exciting to see. Um, but um, I don't know. I I don't know if I have that on any player. I, I expect this guy to have these type of days. But um, um, you know, I thought all in all, you know, there's some there. You know, maybe late or some things. I thought our offensive line played really well, considering. Like I said there's there's two three guys or so are going to be NFL players in that defensive line. So. And, and I wanted to ask you too. Um, did you know who was getting that first snap? I mean, that's a play we don't see, the first play of the game. What do you mean? With, with you guys have Bean and Jalen yeah. back there. Did I know that was happening? Did you know we who was going to get the snap? <laughs> well, I knew who was going to get the snap. Okay. It was who was going to get the ball after that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. we did. I thought you guys would be mad at me, but I was going to announce, like, right before we left, that Jason was starting the game. Right. I just wasn't going to say a quarterback. He did, right? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but um, – then somebody would be mad and then all this other stuff and then we got you know but yeah. uh no what it was was that there was you know there there was a chance jason would have carried the ball it was you know so um and again as we know for for many ways we'll we'll continue to to use both those guys the best we can yeah, one more for me on on okay. the eyeballs on this game and the significance of, yeah. of the opponent and all that stuff Did, did you feel from your guys a little elevated, like let let's take care of business, let's make um, a you know you hate the word statement, but but a yeah, statement? Yeah, no, we right? talked about it. We, I mean, we talked about the opportunity to play a Big Ten team at home on a night where there's only one other game going on, and that was a Big Ten team in an FCS school. So hopefully there was going to be a chance for a, you know there's a lot of teams sitting in hotels tonight getting ready to play tomorrow, and and hopefully there's a lot of people that are watching this football team. Um, yeah, we talked about it. We talked about what we needed. We talked about um, the reason why this could be a, a, a bigger game than maybe when it was scheduled is because of the work of those guys and what they've done. They've earned that opportunity to have, an, have that chance. You know, last time we played a Friday night game in ESPN, it was, in, in, it was against Coastal Carolina, and we got blown out. So, I mean... For us to have that is is exciting, and and again, um, I think more of these games are coming on these nights. So maybe we'll be. Um, I think we had a great crowd, and hopefully we can continue to 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 be somewhere that that we have these type of opportunities, whatever time they want us to play. Well, I've noticed on the passing situation, you're moving Jeremy inside, you're getting some more athletic guys on the edge. When did that come about? It looks like you're getting more pressure. Yeah, you know, we've looked at everything in a way to create more, you know, we, we could put JB on the outside a few times and or we've gone to some packages with essentially with Jeremy moving inside with three defensive ends. Um, again, you know, much like our offense, we want to be as multiple as we can defensively to match up with people, get find opportunities, put pressure on the quarterback and, and do different things. So, um, you know, hopefully we can expound on that a little bit more. Lance, uh, just, you know, six sacks against Illinois. You guys talked all week about how physical uh, they are. Can it give me what you take away from a game like this and how far you guys Well, um, you know, you know, after watching their first game, we thought there's maybe a couple opportunities and a couple matchups. But again, you know, part of that go, it goes together because I think we had good coverage in the back end that sometimes you could see them hanging out of the ball a little bit longer. And we're in man coverage. And the quarterback scramble, and everybody's got their backs to things, and that's the risk of it when quarterbacks are going to be willing to run, and so we give up that big one. But all in all, um, yeah, to, you know, and honestly, you should have a chance to get some of those when you get a lead like you have, and it forces them to be more one-dimensional. And uh, hopefully, our rotation up front. And the fact that they're not rotating offensive linemen, you hopefully wear down, and you can see us making plays when we need to. Yes, sir. The the defensive line performance tonight is this the kind of performance you guys were talking about during all of camp, or is there still more for them to show? I think there's more to show yet, but I was pleased with how they played. 
again to you really great at all and see but I'm, I know I know they're playing hard there's there's great effort they're straining and we're making some play I think Keenan Caldwell had a sack in there is that right I don't know somebody's got did he have one did he get credit I thought he was in on one towards the end Keenan's a guy that really has had a fine August for us we redshirted him a year ago he played a lot of football our first year and he's kind of had to you know battle back in the rotation and I'm really proud of him and and I, I think that group again there's enough guys there around the you know abilities that are going to be able to rotate and keep us fresh and then the ability of the defense to bounce back after the two targeting calls I mean what is yeah. what does that say about this yeah team? again I talked you know you can kind of turn the page and and, and you kind of you know I, I kind of I'll be honest there's times you kind of feel the momentum shifting away on you a little bit and find a way to make a play and you keep talking about it and there's a guy Quentin Lasseter who doesn't play very much and all of a sudden he shows up and the ball's there and and the ball's bounce around and makes a heck of a play for us just when we needed it because that was about the time thing they're driving again so Yep. Yeah, so last week you guys ran the ball well, and today's game you had two running backs go for 100 plus yards and a touchdown each. So can you just touch on that, and that has to make you happy as a coach to have both running backs go for 100 plus and a touchdown each? Is that part of the game plan, getting both of them mixed in well, like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, we want to play as many as we can. I think of those guys, but yeah, Daniel and and Devin, we want to get them their touches. They complement each other really well. You can see Daniel's physicality when he's running, breaking some tackles. Um, and you know we, you know I'm doing a poor job here for you guys, but I mean looking at the balance here, I mean we're we're pretty balanced, and, and for us to be effective, you know offensively, there's there's two things that can really really going to help us, and that means balance between the run and the pass, and then distributing the ball to multiple people, whether it be in the pass game, like we've said before, playing a lot of tight ends, a lot of receivers, and of course the guys in the backfield, and we're lining up. You know, Dylan McDuffie got some carries when we needed a fresh body there late. Tory Lachlan lined up back there a few times. So, you know, I, I think we got we have some nice weapons and we gotta continue to find ways to use them. George, did you get a haircut? I actually didn't get a haircut. What's that? I got a haircut for the first time. Oh, okay.